This clip, I feel, has it all, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it's a, a good argument that the uh, to the extent that people refer to the United States as an experiment, we could be wrapping this thing up. Uh, here is Senator Tommy Tuberville, who I'm convinced is perhaps one of the stupidest senators, not just that we have in the Senate today, but through time. And he is speaking with Maria Bartiromo, Fox. She Fox News or Fox Business News? Doesn't uh, I think I think she's both right, but but her show's got to be on business because they kind of that's where they would quarantine the crazies, the craziest. I feel like, but all right. Well, let's play this clip. Here's uh, Tommy Tuberville. Um, now remember, there is we're very close to. I mean, with the shelling that has been going on or at least reportedly going on, we're getting closer to a, um, uh, 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 the potential or uh, a, another war, or another invasion by Russia of Ukraine. Um, I don't think that we should uh, get involved in any way militarily. But nevertheless, this is a pretty serious thing for the United States. Certainly, there's some in the in, in, in the the blob, as it were, that is all gung ho for a, some form of war. But um, this is this is the way that Tuberville has asked this question. Pretty impressive. Coach, what about that? And what about this uh, hysteria that the State Department went through all weekend? Because on Friday, you've got Jake Sullivan uh, telling us that Russia would invade Ukraine today. I mean, to be so specific, and all the leakers leaking that it was today, Wednesday, to be so specific, and then Joe Biden telling us, get out of Ukraine immediately. Was this uh, a ruse? Was this whole thing uh, an effort to take everybody's attention away from what Hillary Clinton did and what we know to be uh, a, a complete hoax over this Russia investigation. What are your thoughts? Because I know Jake Sullivan worked for Hillary Clinton and he was one of the people who was peddling this uh, Russia collusion lie for four years. And there he is now as NSA uh, coming up with this hysteria over Russia. They're scrambling. There's no doubt about it. I wouldn't trust uh, Jake Sullivan or Mayorkas or, or or Secretary Blinken as far as I could throw them. Uh, I've heard them talk. They give us information. They speak in circles. They don't talk directly to you. Uh, they talk around you. Uh, they have their own agenda. And uh, the American people will eventually you. find this out. It's catching up with them. Uh, this Durham report is is unbelievable, spying on a, uh, an American president. But that being said, they've got a <laughs> problem in Ukraine that they need to work out, but they need to work it out with the people uh, that are within the problem. The president of Ukra Ukraine mm. and Putin. We need to be the intermediary in between them. Get them together. Let them talk. Don't get all these people killed. Our number one adversary is China. And uh, the, all they want to do is take our, 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 mind, our, our eyes off the ball. And uh, China's in on this. You know they're behind it. They're, they're, they're pushing Putin. They're just seeing how far we'll go. Uh, this is just the start of something that we're going to see for the next few years with President Biden in and his ministra administration that can't make decisions the right way. <laughs> That was indecipherable. Uh, they talk in front of you. They talk behind you. They talk upside, down, below, in and out, left, right, every which way they're talking around you. They're doing end What does Mayorkas have to do with Ukraine and Russia? Have I missed the Department of Homeland Security getting involved? And in... I don't trust Blinken or Mayorkas or... Uh, the Department of Education on this whole Ukraine thing. Mm. I don't. Uh, the, and the Department the, of the Interior, because this is coming from the interior of the White House. Yeah. <laughs> Health and Human Services has been all over the place on the Ukraine situation. Uh, is it going to hurt people or be healthy for them? Obviously, um, it can't be healthy. Yeah. Why didn't you throw Fauci in there? Oh, yeah. Fauci. Right. He missed opportunity. I did appreciate, though, that he seemed to have gotten the memo that um, the spying on the White House wasn't Trump. 
he wasn't being, you know, and, and, and of course there was no spying. There was someone doing a analysis of a, of a, of a white house server for security purposes, but it was during the Obama administration. So the yeah. idea, the theory is that, that, that Bartiromo is saying is that the reason why the administration was um, getting out in front of their skis or being or hyping to the extent that they were hyping the idea of a, an invasion was to throw people off the scent of the Durham investigation, uh, which said that a lawyer whose firm at one time worked for the Clinton administration, who supposedly lied about not working for the, I should say the Clinton campaign, but wasn't at working at that time for the Clinton campaign, knew a guy who was part of the team to investigate the White House server when Obama was there. And the Biden administration just doesn't want this information to get out there, even though it has literally been on Fox News 24-7. It's a perfect crime. I, so the, the theory is that Jake Sullivan is drumming up this uh, conflict between uh, R Russia and Ukraine to distract from a piece of information in this memo that was available in another finding four years ago or something like that. I mean, that is three dimensional chess. Well, I would say it's actually it's closer to nine dimensional chess because they're doing this to protect Hillary Clinton, who really is not part of the administration. Um, I mean, apparently. but she is, though, right? She's always a part of every Puppet Democratic. Admi she's a, she <laughs> Hillary. That all, is um, always everywhere. But uh, Tuberville got it. It came off as a statesman there. Oh, we really got to become an intermediary. Look, the people we've got to deal with Ukraine and Russia with Ukraine and Russia. I don't know, like, who else was he talking? Well, who else is the Biden administration involving? I mean, I guess NATO. Um, is he saying that we shouldn't involve Europeans in this conversation either? Perhaps he's saying that not enough people are involved. Intermediary. Uh, I honestly do think that clip is is basically it. That's Exhibit A. That uh, we're wrapping this thing up, folks. That's the end. Yep. <laughs> Enjoy Good it. Run. Good run. Buddha judge, I don't trust him on this Ukraine thing at all. Thank you, coach. <laughs> <laughs>